Can you take an old painting of yours and actually turn it into something that works? My name is Vita Evenson and I paint grease. I was cleaning out a closet and I found this old painting, one of my first, and I looked at it and it's very just stuff all over the place. I had no idea what I was doing. I was just trying to paint something. Uh, I don't even know why, what purpose was behind the painting. I don't know. Uh, there was no no tan. I know that because I had no idea about no tans back then. But, you know, so I thought, can I fix this painting? Can I make it better? Can I make it something that works? Still keeping it loose and kind of that expressionist style but can I make it work? Let's see what happens. So I need to put down some kind of medium. I'm using liquid. I just put it all over the painting and then usually I don't add any more medium after that. And um, I need to create um, the darks, uh, create something that is cohesive and that works uh, much better than what I had done before. Uh, and so I'm just going in with uh, the darks to reestablish what's going on and to begin working with the atmospheric perspective that that needs to happen. The actual building is uh, off. Uh, the uh, perspective is wrong. I, uh, for some reason, made the blinds, those shutters, uh, wooden shutters, this bright red color on the side of the building in shadow. I don't know what I was thinking, but uh, you can see it really stands out. I'm going in with um, a general grass color toned down uh, using a lot of burnt sienna uh, just to kind of cover up what I had done before to um, to begin to get some clarity and going in with a dry brush and uh, scraping out some of that uh, paint that I just laid down just to um, get some interest there but not have the entire canvas uh, full of color and haphazard brush strokes. And working with the trees now, again in the background, um, making sure that they're not all the same size and shape, although they are pretty close. And uh, I would not do that today. So I'm kind of bringing them together, uh, but still, uh, I think they're not the best tree shapes out there. I'll come back and work on that, I think, a little bit later. And, uh, you know, the, this little chapel is covered up by the trees, basically, but... Uh, I'm considering bringing more of the building uh, in, just making it more available. I'm working on the it's a very old door. It's uh, faded out. Now I, I added blue to, <laughs> to the wooden shutters on the side because uh, first of all, that area is pretty much in the center of the painting and I don't want my high interest there like that bright red color that I had and also because it's in shadow and it's not a focal area of any kind and um, I want this olive tree in the front in the foreground um, but I still want to keep it just pretty mellow not something that um, that is easily, um, you know, I, I don't want it fighting with the building, with the chapel. And, uh, you know, 
there's this is not going to turn out to be a great painting but it's much better I'm much better already than what it was I'm working a little bit on fixing the perspective of the chapel I still want to keep it loose I, I am focused on just keeping it loose these were very thick brush strokes and I would have to go in and sand the painting down if I wanted to really really change it but I think it turned out okay okay so uh, I went through and I started with the darks uh, put in the shadows just kind of make get some atmospheric perspective going on in there which there was none before absolutely none and uh, you know I like it. It actually works. So um, you can take your old paintings, put some liquid on it, or if you remember the medium that, that you were using, but just put some kind of medium on that um, that's not going to crack your painting in the when the new layer is dry. And, you know, go ahead. And the worst thing that can happen is you mess up the painting. It was already a messed up painting, so who cares? Go in and play, let free, just let yourself go and see what you can create. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you know when I have a new video coming out. It really helps my channel. The more people I get, the more I'm able to be here. So if I'm useful to you and teaching you anything, maybe you're just having fun hanging out with my goofy self, I'd be great to have you along for the ride. Don't forget to sign up also for my newsletter. You get a great PDF that you will have some questions to ask yourself as you're going through your painting and my basic rundown of how I work through my creative channel, understanding from the Notan stage all the way to signing your painting and uh, the things that come with that. All right, you guys, with that, be inspired, be creative, and be you.